When they've decided to go and stalk, we do try and limit the, the movement of the vehicles. You'll notice once he's pounced, once he's gone for it, that's when I'll start moving again. But the moment he's, it looks like he's still scouting, he's still not going into full hunt mode yet. You still see that tower, you can still see he's pretty tall. But once they do go into full stalk mode, just again so that we don't interfere with the hunt and animals don't get distracted by the vehicles or the vehicles don't change the behaviour of any animals. That's why we'll stand, we'll stay back, we just have to live with the position that we've chosen and hope that we get to see what's going on and as soon as they make the charge, then that's it, that's, the animals are all focused and nothing is going to break that and as long as you don't get in the way of the cat and its quarry, then you shouldn't sway the outcome. But in those critical moments of them actually starting the hunt, then you could potentially change the outcome by moving too much. Again, he's got some nice cover. The wind is still coming towards us, so the wind is still in his favour. Stations in Grey close to Gary Main, still on Weaver's Nest. Still on Weaver's Nest, two stations in Lock. So you can still, he hasn't gone into stalk mode as yet. A little quick time to brew. I slip quick and slightly. You can still see staying in the cover of the trees for now.
Can you see him, Andrew? You can pull in here if you want. Just behind the bush there, yeah. Yes, he's got his father's eyes, hey? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Where's Mark? Yeah, that's what I'm asking. <laughs> go find your mum. <laughs> I'd love to see her before I go. When are you going? Uh, Monday. Oh, okay. yeah. So just filling in for Mark while he's on oh, leave. Oh, right, okay. But you basically way north? Uh, Leidenburg. Le oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, so I'm studying leopards outside. Oh, okay, yeah. cool. <laughs> but we don't see them very often. Absolutely. <laughs> and certainly not like this. No. Although if, when they're cubs, when they're small, and we do, mm. when they're about a year old. Right. Take over the lock, Andrew, because I don't know if anyone's actually hearing me. Uh, yeah. Were you copying me earlier or not? No, I, I, I copy you. Oh, you have been? So, so. Okay. Mm. Uh, I, I did copy you, but I think the Ryan, because they got us some lala place. So. Okay, whereabouts? Uh, Annette. Annette, okay. They, had that they, they got some uh, water from down there this morning, so everybody arrived. So. Uh, okay. But yeah, if you hear someone calling and I'm not responding, if you could maybe take over, that'd be great. Okay. Thank right, you. Thanks, I'll do that. So something's just caught his attention. Yeah, what? birds. <laughs> yeah, he seems to be going for the small stuff at yeah. the moment. He tried for a squirrel just before you met us. Just the energy and get going. <laughs> maybe more Franklin. Yeah, maybe more Franklin. Because he was just about to start walking, and then Sweet caught his attention. But this one is beautiful, relaxed, and the uh, other brother, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I stick with him for long. Yeah. He liked, you know, going bigger stuff. Yeah. So, who is the dung question from? Hi, Patty. Sorry, I got distracted again. You just saw something. And Patty, uh, welcome on board to you this morning. Patty wanting to know, uh, just like domestic house cats, they actually bury their dung. Do lions and leopards and cheetahs do the same? And no, they don't. You might have missed this male actually going to the toilet. It's actually been about three times now. And for leopards and lions and cheetah, they do use it as a calling card, especially for the lions and the leopard. It is a territorial marker for the male cheetah is also but it's also it's a visual sign and sometimes they'll actually leave it right out on the road 
so that anyone passing through knows that that's their territory. And as Andrew uh, <laughs> rightly points out, it was very, very smelly. <clears throat> so there's a lot of chemical signs there. And that's why you will get leopards actually going and sniffing. Now you can see he's actually changed his body language. He's starting to get low. I'm sure you've seen this with your domestic house cat. Trying to get low, keeping that tail low, making sure the twitching tail doesn't give him away. But he's, he's trying to raise his head, so I think it could be a Franklin in the bush. He looks like he's, he's getting very close, but he's still hesitant. You can see he's sitting again. And remember, they have all the time in the world. <laughs> Hi Douglas, welcome on board this morning, all the way from Connecticut. And Douglas who would like to know, is it not unusual for him to walk this far? Surely it's getting too hot now and he's nice and full. Oh, his belly's definitely not as full as what I thought it was going to look like, so it's already been partially digested. But um, this is normal, and I say that's why you can't really say that leopards are strictly nocturnal. Because they can be active during the day. I've actually had pictures, there he goes. I actually have had pictures of the leopards. Oh, there was two doves. I wonder if he's going after the doves. Did you see that? Two doves just flew up. <laughs> he definitely has a fascination for birds. <laughs> I'd say so. <laughs> oh, there's a hole. <laughs> But yeah, I've had pictures where the female has been active at 42 degrees. Oh well, shame little man. <laughs> I think it was the dove. <laughs> He's looking very... <laughs> Empty handed once again.
the temperature is actually quite pleasant considering what it has been in the last few days. There's quite a lot of cloud build up now. So we do have a bit of cloud over the sun at the moment. So it could well have been a fairly young bush book, that's what we were trying to work out how old the bush book was, so it might have been a young one and that could be why it's already been digested. So when we were there with him, we were saying it, at that stage if it was a young one it would last him maybe two or three days, so that could be why he's on the lookout for a small snack. If it was an adult then about four or five. So it could well have been a young, because again his belly's not as extended as I thought it would, it should have been after a, an adult. But I think we're almost coming to a part where we might actually part ways with him. It's starting to get fairly thick through there. Nope. <laughs> I wonder what he found then. <laughs> 